Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Suspicion and this movie is directed by Alfred Hitchcock and it came out in 1941 and I've seen this movie once before. I thought it was great then and I still think this movie is pretty fantastic and I love how all you really need to know about the movie before even getting into it, you don't even need to look up what the movie's about because all you need to know plot-wise is in the title like it tells you everything you need to know and i really like the characters in the movie i think they're very well realized and this movie isn't just trying to be like a mystery suspense film it's also trying to be a few different things at once sometimes it's a bit of a romance movie and i thought those elements worked very well and i really love how information is presented and the characters are very interesting and likable and this movie does have a lot of things going on and this movie is two hours long and I didn't really feel the runtime uh, too much and I didn't really feel it in the first half the second half uh, there were a couple points where I started to feel it but aside from that I thought it was pretty tight and there wasn't any particular scene that felt like filler to me and I really enjoyed the look of the film and it had a very distinct uh, look like all of Hitchcock movies. They all look really great and the performances are always uh, great as well and uh, Cary Grant uh, from North by Northwest is in this movie and I thought he was great. And although I've seen this movie once before, this was before I saw North by Northwest and uh, that's really when I started to realize, oh, he was also in this movie and he's playing a very different character and and I always believed him and you don't really know everything about the guy and you're just uh, wondering what's going on and it always keeps your mind active while you're watching it and each passing scene more information is revealed to you but not like all at once and it's a fun like mystery film that uh, is really engaging for me and and I also I uh, really liked uh, the side characters in the movie and uh, I think they add a lot to the film and uh, no side character was ever annoying to me and they all serve a purpose and uh, there's uh, one guy who's like Cary Grant's character is like a good friend of his and uh, like I thought yeah, he was a good character. I don't remember his name right now, but I liked him a lot. I liked that character a lot. And I really don't want to talk too much about uh, the actual plot of the film. And although all you really need to know is in the title, if I start talking about the plot, I'm afraid it's going to spoil the experience. And I really don't want to do that because a lot happens over the course of the film. And it's always engaging. And... I feel as though it's best to leave that stuff a secret uh, so you can be easily surprised as to what happens in the film and uh, the one thing that I will say about the movie like kind of story-wise is that I love how Hitchcock movies build up suspense and really let that explode and in this movie it has it as well and it worked successfully and any issues that I had with the movie was just like, yeah, it's like there's some like sped up footage to imply that you're going faster than you really are. And this isn't the first time that I've seen his movies have that. Like in Strangers on a Train, that movie had that as well. We just speed up the footage so you can imply that things are going really fast when they're really not. <sighs> and that's like my only real complaint with the movie. And the rest of the movie, I think, is excellent. And and this movie overall uh, really captures the emotions that it wants to get out of you. And that's what I love about it. It's an incredibly satisfying movie for me. And I will happily revisit this movie. I think it's one of Alfred Hitchcock's best movies. And if you haven't seen this movie, I would highly recommend that you check it out. Even if you're not really a fan of horror movies, like... Alfred Hitchcock movies, they're not, like, bloody, really. And, like, the horror is more or less implied, and it's mostly, like, off-screen, and it's just about, like, getting inside your head, and 
that's the type of horror that exists in his films and this one's no exception and even if you're not a horror fan this movie will work for you if you are it'll still work for you even though it's not like just a horror movie it's not like what you would expect when you pop in a horror movie it's like mystery suspense and like a few other things are thrown in there but they all work together very well and with all that being said, I'm going to give Suspicion a 10 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. You thought of Suspicion and my social media links, they will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for The Boy. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.